family of an arson suspect shot and killed by deputies at the end of a pursuit in the Inland Empire is taking legal action. KTLA's Alina Bovian live in Pasadena with the story for us. Alina, good morning. And Jessica, good morning. And the family, they are inside this law office right here behind us in Pasadena speaking with the media. The mother of the victim of this 44-year-old man, Antonio Garza, who was killed by the Sheriff's Department that day. She spoke out very emotional. This woman is 70-something years old, and she says a parent should never have to read the obituary of their child, claiming that he had severe paranoia, that he had... Um, mental illness and that the sheriff's department in San Bernardino was very aware of, very well aware of this. Now take a look at this video. This is his photo. This is 44 year old Antonio Garza. According to the family, he was suffering from mental illness and they believe he was wrongfully killed and they want justice. They are suing for $20 million, adding that the sheriff's department in San Bernardino knew about his history of mental illness. Three agencies are being named in this suit, the San Bernardino Sheriff's Department, Riverside County Sheriff's Department, and also the county California Highway Patrol. This incident goes back to February 5th of this year. Eyewitness video captures deputies shooting Garza. This is at the end of the pursuit from Garza's residence in Northeast Yucca Valley. Uh, the chase went on for 35 minutes and ended down the I-10. According to the lawsuit, Garza was shot twice in the back. The family claims he was running away from police and that he was unarmed. The whole incident began earlier that morning at his residence. The San Bernardino Sheriff's deputies, they arrived and they responded to a report of a box trailer that was set on fire. And this happened in Northeast Yucca Valley. Now, deputies came across Tony Garza and they suspected that this was arson, but the family says that was not the case. Here's a listen. When Tony walked into a room, the first thing he would do is give everyone a big hug. He would give you the shirt off his back if you needed it. He always thanked our service members when he saw them. He was a yes sir and a yes ma'am kind of guy. He never took a handout. Everything he earned was through his hard work. Now, because the actual shooting took place in Riverside County, the Riverside County Sheriff's Department is now investigating this case. The attorneys say it's possible there is a video from the deputy's uh, body, foot, body camera, so they want that released, and they want full accountability in this case. They are pursuing this lawsuit and, again, suing three agencies for $20 million. That's the very latest. I'm Lena Bourbon reporting live here in Pasadena, KTLA 5 News.